Hi, my name is Mehal Shah. I'm one of the engineers at Code.org, and I help build App Lab. And today we're going to demonstrate an app that I built called Wacken Emoji, and uh, I'll talk about how we actually built it. Here's what Wacken Emoji looks like. Uh, there's a little emoji that's going to appear on a bunch of green buttons, and you have to click on it. Every time you click on the emoji, you get 100 points. Every time you click on something else, you lose 100 points. And at the end, it shows you how many points you got, and there's a little button to go and play again. So let's talk about how to build it. So I'm making a new App Lab project. I'm going to give it a name like that. We're going to have three different screens on the app. There's going to be the welcome screen. There's going to be the uh, game screen where you're actually playing the game. And there's going to be a screen where you see your final score and get an option to play again. So let's make those screens. I'm going to make a screen for the game here. I'm going to make a screen for welcoming the user. And that'll be the first one they'll see. And I'll make a screen for showing their final score. Now, let's build the controls that will actually go on the welcome screen. The welcome screen will be pretty simple. It will be a text saying, welcome to whack an emoji, bang, bang, bang. Nice big font, not that big. And we'll put it right there. And then we'll put the big green buttons that says, start new game. Start new game here. And we'll call the button play button. We're going to wire up what the play button does in just a little bit. Uh, your screen size is 320 pixels across and 480 pixels down. And it doesn't sound like a lot, but that's actually a pretty good number for any game that's going to show up on your phone. Next, we're going to build the game screen. And the game screen is going to be a grid of uh, four green buttons uh, going left, four green buttons going down, and then there'll be a little smiley face that'll appear on some of the green buttons. So at the bottom, we have a label showing what your score is and a number that's going to change. And let's drag a background image on here that's going to have our game board. And we're just going to use this file, which I've already uploaded. If you want to precisely position your control, you can use the Properties tab and say, this is going to go at exactly this location and be exactly this size. So let's put the background right there. And then we'll have a label that's going to be the emoji that's going to hop around from button to button. And so this is the emoji label. And the text is going to be an emoji right there. Let's make it bigger. And let's put it on the first button. So put it at 60, 60, right there. Let's make it a little bigger. OK. Um, and now, um, the code. So we're going to have a function to actually play the game. And um, the game is going to be about 15 seconds. And every second, the emoji is going to jump from one position to another position. So to have something happen every 15 seconds, we can use the set interval function. And you give it a function to call every so many seconds. So we're going to have the move emoji function. And we're going to call it every 1,000 milliseconds, or every, every second. And then to end the game, uh, what we're going to do is say set timeout. And that'll call a function after a certain amount of time. And the function we're going to call is end game. And we're going to call that after 15,000 milliseconds, or 15 seconds. Now let's define the two functions. Function move emoji, function and game. So to move the emoji, uh, I'm going to set the position of the emoji label to be some random uh, location in here. So I need to generate two random numbers, random number 0, 3. So this will generate a random number between 0 and 3 inclusive. And this will generate a second random number. OK. 
OK. To figure out where the emoji is going to go, we're going to call set position on the emoji. And then uh, we know that the position is going to begin at 6060 and is going to be offset by the random number we generate in the x axis times 60 and the random number we generate in the y axis times 50. That should line up pretty well with this. Let's just try it out. Yeah, there we go. Then we also have functions for when you click on the emoji label, we're going to increase your score by 100, and we're going to update the score counter here. When you click on the background image, we're going to reduce your score by 100, and we're going to update the score counter. OK, um, so we have these functions defined. And now when you end the game, we're going to set the screen to uh, the score screen. And we're going to set the text on the final score label to be whatever your score was. OK, so let's try this out, see how it looks. Now let's try this out and see how it looks. So it gives me the welcome screen, and let's start a new game. And there's the emoji, and it's kind of hopping around on spot to spot. And when I click on it, my score goes up. And when I click somewhere else, my score goes down. I need to make this label a little bigger, so let's just do that. Run it again. And there we go. You can do things like if we want to make the game harder and have the emoji move around faster, we can change the interval from, say, one second to half a second. And now it's moving around a lot faster, probably too fast for me to actually click on it. Or you can make it easier and make the number go up. But I think one second's fine for now. Let's just play a quick game. And once you're done, if you want to share it with someone, you can click the Share button. And you get a link. You can send them a link on Facebook or Twitter or a text message and they can play the game for themselves. We built this app in just five minutes, but if you wanted to remix this, there's a whole lot of things you can do. You can add sound effects, you can change the appearance of it, you can change the difficulty, you can even use our data interface to build a scoreboard so you can compete with your friends. Thanks for trying out App Lab, and we can't wait to see what you build with it.